Who is Tophia? Hey everyone, welcome to the Tofia Iceberg video. I have never made an iceberg video before, so this is gonna be new. Um, if you have been on TikTok for a while or the internet for a while recently, you probably know who Tofia is, but if you don't, she is a content creator who is sort of gaining the popularity of Chris Chan. Again, this is also turning into a kind of a Chris Chan situation with her documenting literally everything in her life and everything that's going on. And if you don't know who Chris Chan is, that's a completely different thing. But pretty much take this as the more tame and recent trending version of Chris Chan. First off, really quick, let's get into who Tofia is. She's a content creator. She started off on Musical.ly and her cringy videos and problematicness has pretty much skyrocketed in popularity recently and now she live streams all the time and she makes tiktoks she has multiple family members who are also problematic and also pretty popular but we'll get into that when we get into the iceberg so let's get into it first up on the iceberg we have mickey shoe which is a artwork drawn by tofia onto a canvas that is prominently shown in her live streams Tofia likes making art. It isn't very good, if you can tell by the picture of Mickey Chu, but, you know, it's there. Mickey Chu um, is called Mickey Chu because everybody in the Tofia world, I guess, anything that's associated with Tofia, has a Chu at the end of it due to Tofia's username being Tofia Chu. For example, her mom's name is Mama Chu, her brother's name is Brother Chu, so on and so forth. So there you have Mickey Chu. Next on the iceberg is DoorDash, which Tofia is popularly known for ordering DoorDash all the time, even though she barely has enough money to pay rent. Later in the iceberg, we'll be talking about her eviction, but like I said, they have a little money income, and she is ordering massive orders on DoorDash. Usually on her live streams, you can see it get delivered, and you can see her placing the orders and everything. And she's also widely known for requesting refunds, even if there's nothing wrong with the order, which has caused her to get banned from requesting refunds from the actual app. And in order to get a refund now, she has to call up customer service. That's how much she takes advantage of the system. But yeah, that's DoorDash. Next is TikTok live streams, which I kind of touched on earlier. 95% uh, of the time, Tofia is on a TikTok live stream. She's documenting everything. She's sitting there going on rants, talking about people, eating food, whatever it is, she's probably doing it on a live stream. When she's not on a live stream, she's making TikToks. Next is K-pop, which is pretty simple. She is a huge K-pop stan, and she likes people like BTS and other uh, K-pop groups. She, she has a really popular quote that's actually really funny, and she's being delusional, and she says, I could date a K-pop stan if I wanted to. I could literally date an, a K-pop idol if I wanted to. People are gonna be like, no, that's not possible. It's called manifestation. So yeah, she has a lot of K-pop merch, and she's also known for buying K-pop stuff, like I said, when she owes rent. Next is Mountain Dew, um, also pretty simple. Tofia is rarely seen drinking water or hydrating herself in a healthy way, and she's usually seen drinking Mountain Dew on live stream. If she has a cup and she's sipping out of it, it's most likely Mountain Dew. Um, also, there have been instances where she has literally cut open a Mountain Dew can to get every single droplet out. So yeah, Tofia is a huge uh, Mountain Dew fan, you know, pretty simple. Next is Nova, who is a pretty popular creator on TikTok. He's known for being super cringy. Um, he's known for his uh, shitty ass food reviews and his um, cocktail drinks that he makes. None of it's good. None of it's really, you know, quality content. But, you know, he's on there. He's also known for being a voice in Ohio the anime. May I say more? So his relevance to Tofia started when he made a cocktail um, mocking Tofia, and Tofia saw it and ranted about it on a live stream. And ever since then, they've just been feuding over and over again. 
It's gone to the point where they even threaten to take each other to court. They do that all the time. They always threaten to take each other to court, even though they are both extremely broke and do not have the funds or the means to do that. They also, this is really weird, but they also accuse each other of pedophilia, like, regularly, which is really odd to me. Like, what? So, yeah, that's Nova. He's a completely different case. He's just, there's so much about him I can go into, but this is about Tofia. Next is Aunt Karen, and Aunt Karen is a creator on TikTok who likes to go on live streams and pretend to be a judge. Um, she invited Tofia onto her live stream and confronted Tofia about spending money when she owes rent and um, there's about to be an eviction. So the Aunt Karen live stream is a very huge part of Tofia's lore, I guess you could say. Um, I'm gonna include clips of it right now. I don't think anybody should do that. And if you do give her money to move, that is on yours. That's on you. That's what I think. I think you're scamming people. Tofia, don't. Tofia, don't do that. Tofia, don't do that. Tofia, don't do that. Don't. Tofia, don't. There was a part of the live stream where Aunt Karen called Tofia out and Tofia went on muke and just broke into tears and ended up leaving the live stream. And it got so bad to the point where Tofia's mom was avidly cursing after the, uh, uh, the Aunt Karen live stream because of how angry she was with the way that Aunt Karen pretty much handled the situation with Tofia. Even though Aunt Karen really didn't do anything wrong and Tofia agreed to it, I don't understand that part of it. So yeah, Aunt Karen and Tofia had a very infamous live stream where a lot of shit went down. The boss's daughter, uh, this is a TikTok sort of series that Tofia created, and she's pretending to be a mafia boss's daughter. The videos are really cringy and pretty hard to sit through. It's, oh God, they're awful. They are awful. Um, I'll include some clips right now of it just so you could get a grasp of how fucking awful these videos are. James, what's the update on the American con? Good job. And you, did you make the sale yesterday? Yes, yes I did. Good girl. Um, I mean, they never, they never fail to make me laugh. They're cringy as hell, and that's kind of what Tofia started to gain popularity, was from these cringy ass videos. A lot of people still make uh, boss's daughter jokes all the time in her chat. Um, it's just kind of a funny thing, you know? Next is Hershey. Hershey is Tofia's pet dog who deserves so much better, honestly. Hershey pees in old McDonald's cups because Tofia is too lazy to take him out for walks. And uh, Tofia has actually taken a sip out of Hershey's pee cup before. Insert clip here. <laughs> yeah, that's Hershey. Um, he also is notably hateful towards Tofia. He's always barking in the background of, you know, videos and stuff. And, um, you know, he hates her. He always barks at her he always snips at her i've never seen a clip of them getting along so yeah her she hates tofia as most people so angie is one of tofia's brothers also known as brother chu uh angie is brother chu's one of his romantic partners um she is known for avidly going online and bringing info about tofia's personal life in there so she always talks about how the apartment is and how bad the situation really is and pretty much brings light about stuff that you don't really see on the internet and lately angie and brother chu have been on and off in a relationship so that's been pretty rocky but angie is prominently known for talking shit about tofia and the family um widely on the internet also, Brother Chu has admitted to engaging in domestic violence towards her multiple times, like throwing her on the ground and hitting her and stuff. Next is Leslie, who, just like Nova, is very much against Tofia. Um, she's a very prominent character in what they call the Tofiaverse, which is kind of, um, if you're familiar with Chris Chan, you know, the, the Sana Chu-verse. It's pretty much Tofia's entire lore and people who are associated with her they're all put into this category of just the tofia verse it's uh, it's like a fan not really fan more of people who know about tofia they call it the tofia verse anyways leslie is known for going on live stream with tofia and just calling her out all the time she also confronts tofia multiple times about different topics and problems that tofia has and i don't i think that's why tofia hates her because she actually like takes responsibility for Tofia's actions and kind of brings Tofia down to earth and said, you fucked up, you know, talk about it. Another very popular thing that Leslie did is accusing Tofia of engaging in inappropriate situations with Asian teenagers. I'm just gonna leave that there. 
uh, Isaac is the final thing on this tier of the iceberg. He is the owner of the Chu Crew Discord, and Tofia actively hates him, and she said that she is not friends with anybody in that Discord. Uh, he is also popularly referred to as Tofia's number one enemy and arch nemesis. So do what you will with that information. They are definitely opposing parties. All right, this is what I call break into tier two. Um, we're gonna start getting to lesser known things about Topia, as all icebergs work. Uh, tier one was the more uh, known things about Topia, and tier two we will get into the lesser known things, and then tier three and then tier four will be you know the most outlandish things in the Topia verse or the Chu verse. I don't. Anyways. Let's get into it. Yeah, there, there's a lot under our belt right now. So first on tier two of the iceberg, we have Asian fetishization. Tofia is widely known for fetishizing Asian people, specifically Asian men. And this can be taken from the fact that she loves BTS, uh, specific, specifically the member Jungkook, Jungkook, however you pronounce it. This seems pretty normal, but looking into it more, Tofia has duetted several Asian men in a romantic sex slash sexual nature. While never being directly stated, there's a good chance that a TikTok user by the name of Wesley Boba quit his social media due to Tofia's influence. That will be discussed later, along with her porn search history, which will also be discussed later. If you can't tell by now, she watches a lot of Asian men. Just, just, just putting that out there. Slurs. It's as simple as it sounds. Tofia has said several slurs towards several minorities, many of which she cannot say slash reclaim. You keep the word towards trans, I mean the word towards transgender people. Oh, literally like jipped them out of a million dollars. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, it's the state where Tofia lives in and the rest of her family lives. She lives in Albuquerque. Pretty simple. Cosplay. Tofia is a fan of Pokemon, K-pop, and other pieces of pop culture media. Tofia has cosplayed Misty from Pokemon, and um, and it's become quite a popular meme. Fake nails slash lash era. Occasionally, Tofia will wear fake lashes and nails. However, there was one particular point in time where she would post a lot of videos in said lashes slash nails during a period of time where her family really couldn't afford rent, leading people to wonder why she was spending money on things like makeup slash nails. Smirk Chew, Tofia's infamous smirk. She tends to have this smirk whenever she thinks she's made a good take slash comeback. 99.9% .9 of the time, they aren't good comebacks at all. So it's pretty funny. Debt, Tofia and the rest of her family are in severe rent debt, yet Tofia makes poor money choices regardless, such as spending money on DoorDash, Comic-Con, makeup, and K-pop albums, uh, which are normally priced to 15 to $50 based on what variation you get. Uh, she pretty much spends her money on everything but the rent. Pew pews. Uh, this refers to Tofia's finger guns during the boss's daughter era. Um, it's arguably some of Tofia's most infamous videos where she actively uses finger guns as a replacement for the implied mafia guns. Apartment slash motel reviews. This refers to the reviews that people have left on the apartment complex and motel that Tofia and her family live in. Uh, most of these reviews are making fun or calling out Tofia and her family for their disruption, scent, hygiene, or any other issues. Dunkin' Donuts. Tofia used to work at Dunkin' Donuts until she was fired for quote unquote poor personal hygiene. The day I got fired, um, she had said I had hygiene issues. Who shocked. Uh, this led her to her family making little to no income. She actually made a video where she talked about it and she acted like she had great hygiene. So, you know. AI merch. Refers to t-shirts Tofia makes slash is making. Uh, these are all AI-generated an anime images and does not fit her brand in the slightest at all. Roaches. Roaches have been spotted in Tofia's apartment on several different occasions, which has led to the infamous Roach Chew. Comic-Con. Tofia spent hundreds of dollars on Comic-Con instead of rent. While there's the possibility that she spent money on Comic-Con before her family went to debt, she still chose to spend even more money on merch and items at Comic-Con. While the exact amount is unknown, it is implied Sophia spent about $500. Tumblr cup. This is the infamous purple cup that Sophia always drinks Mountain Dew out of. There's a good chance that she almost never washes it, and there are two separate videos where she sniffs it, recoils back with her nose, it's scrunched up, and dumps Mountain Dew in the cup anyways. Disgusting. 
Next up is Jasmine Chu. Uh, Jasmine Chu describes herself as quote-unquote Tofia's daughter, but Jasmine makes fun of Tofia and often parodies her. Sort of like a liquid Chris situation, except not personating, if you're familiar with Christian. Pedophile. This can refer to many things that will be touched on later, but long story short, uh, Tofia likes minors, specifically young, young Asian teenagers. She's been quoted saying that teenagers are not children, you know, just, yeah, pedophile. BTS concert, another poor money decision by Tofia. She spent tons of money on a BTS concert, plus concert merch rather than the rent. However, it's worth noting that at this time, they weren't in debt and they were more or less struggling to pay. Jandis, uh, while never confirmed or denied in a few of Tofia's live streams, it looks like she has slash had jaundice. This is either due to the lighting or due to the fact that she has actually has slash had jaundice. Instagram rants. After a really long and controversial live, Tofia will post to her Instagram stories ranting about it. Yubo. It is believed that Tofia used Yubo to go live. Tofia Chu Live. This is simply a, a hashtag that people use to record noteworthy slash stupid shit that Tofia says slash does in her life. She does a lot of stupid shit. Heads up. We're going to get into that more and more. Um, this is the end of tier two. <sighs> it only gets worse from here. So, you know, let's get into it. So we're moving on to tier three. Um, things only get worse from here. So buckle up and it's going to be a lot. Hey, Landon, have you seen the new Tofia video? She's using a rose toy. Wait, who are they? Is this a video? Oh, uh, hey, Jade. Uh, yeah, this is my Tofia iceberg video. Uh, say hi. Um, I'm getting into tier three right now. So <sighs> Landon, move. I know all about Roach Ch Tofia Chu lore. I literally introduced you to her. But Jade, this is kind of for my channel. Um, actually, it's my turn. Back off. Racism. Tofia has been seen time and time again being racist, saying slurs, and pushing stereotypes about multiple different ethnicities and races, but specifically she has said a lot of really harsh things about the Mexican community, but then also tried to back up those statements by saying you can't be racist towards Mexicans, and then also tried to back that up by saying that she's a woman of color so she can't be racist, which isn't true by the way you can be a person of color that's racist towards other people of color but th this is tofi that we're talking about so we really shouldn't be that surprised that she can't understand something as basic as that the grinder attempted break-in this specific incident took place on may 12 2023 earlier this year tofia's residence at the time was an apartment and the apartment's location slash address got leaked which in turn meant that many people use this address for a number of things, but in this specific instance, a troll made a grinder account and then used their grinder account address as the address of Tofia's current residence. Now, this means that many men were going to Tofia's place looking for a hookup only to be turned down, but one night a man tried to break into the place and this was all captured on the live stream. Brother Chu was really pissed off and it's assumed that the man left after realizing that they saw him as a threat. And as much as people dislike Tofia, myself included, there are certain things that just aren't okay. And Tofia's life genuinely could have been in severe danger. So people have to really be careful to the levels they take their trolling. Transphobia. This specific statement is a very wide range of instances, but overall it's pretty much referring to the many, many, many times Tofia has been extremely transphobic. And these instances include, but are not limited to, misgendering the popular transgender celebrity Dylan Mulvaney multiple times in one single stream, saying very hurtful and bigoted things about pronouns and different gender identities. <laughs> And in, as covered in the slur statement, she has almost said the T-slur, which is directed towards many transgender individuals. When she meant to say transgender, she almost said the slur, which is like concerning in and on its own, but you know. I didn't call him a he. I didn't call, I didn't call that person a he, sorry. Sophia. Sophia is a diss track made by official Mary Milu 2000 or also known as MG. She's also a very popular internet personality um, who's known to 
make really like cringy songs uh which could be another video entirely but no we're not here to comment about the quality of her songs or who she is but to make a long story short she, mg pretty much made a diss track called sophia and then said sophia isn't a diss track it just takes inspiration from tofia's life but like all you need to do is take one quick listen at the song and you can clearly tell that mg had intentions of it being a diss track in some way shape or form and if it's not a full-blown diss track it at least has like very diss tracky undertones heart surgery okay so this has like not a lot of context and if i'm incorrect on this blame landon because he did a good chunk of the research for this video but like Tofia apparently has a heart condition and she got open heart surgery and from what people found online she apparently begged fans and others to send her money for this but while she was in the hospital she was live for a good chunk of it and there are even clips of her asking a nurse to bring her snacks and then acting like she's in a five-star hotel but yeah more or less she got heart surgery and went live in a hospital and there's also a rumor that the first thing she said when she woke up <laughs> this is the one serious was hi daddy but i can't confirm nor deny that that exists and again even this claim in general is pretty speculated so take this specific instance with a grain of salt the gofundme scam uh instead of taking responsibility for her own actions tofia just started a gofundme which is pretty much a scam because she just made stuff up in order to get money and when people started issuing their refunds after clearly seeing that this was just a money grab she got really upset and started to rant on multiple live streams um but she was also confronted about this on an aunt karen live stream uh for reference, this refers to stuff like always buying fast food, spending money at Comic-Con, etc. <sighs> the P-Hub Gay Browser. During a live stream where Tofia was showing off her new phone design, which ironically was BTS themed, she went into Safari and then turned the phone sideways, which pretty much showed all the tabs she had open at the time. One of them being a P-Hub Gay tab, which wouldn't be a problem normally because like, Several people watch that stuff, and she's an adult, she can technically watch whatever she wants. But it was pretty weird that she was watching specifically gay corn. It seems like she fetishizes gay people and, you know, intercourse with them, which just leaves a really sour taste in people's mouths. Uh, this was also addressed on the Aunt Karen live stream, and she, Tofia went absolutely wild and crazy when she was called out for it. Um, I'm also pretty sure that it was gay Asian teens as well, which just really feeds into the idea that Topia has a fetish for Asian men. Clicks Talent. Clicks Talent is a talent agency. This agency allegedly, according to Topia, signed with her and which she boasted about on a live stream, thinking that her life would change forever and that she was finally going to become an official huge celebrity. But about three days later, Tofia received an email from Clicks saying that she has way too much negative traction and publicity to her name in order for them to have her as a client. And then later, Clicks actually revealed that they never really signed Tofia and they were just considering it. And then Tofia was like really pissed off, but it's kind of the consequences of her own actions. Justin Burke. Justin Burke was a very famous and prominent face of TikTok back when it was still musically. Some even call him a musically star, legend, etc. Now, recently people have found out that Tofia has slash had a literal obsession with him. She would spam his comment section and duet him constantly and even go as far as to try and contact him. Uh, now he does vocal teaching, but people to this day still flood his comments with Tofia related content. Eviction. Tofia fails to pay rent time and time again. The eviction was a huge arc in the Tofiaverse with mountains of content and live streams. I would honestly just recommend looking into other people's videos for in-depth description, but more or less Tofia got evicted and was forced to stay in a motel room. Swatting. When Tofia was staying in a motel after getting evicted, a troll decided to swat her. If you don't know what swatting is, it's pretty much when someone takes the address, mostly of streamers, um, and tells the police that there's a huge threat, usually, which will bring a SWAT team to the residence. This happened to Tofia, and there's a live stream from her perspective, along with other videos from the neighboring home motel rooms. Doxing. Tofia has a long, long history of doxing herself. And for those of you who don't know what doxing is, it's when someone 
or in this specific instance, the victim, leaks the address or whereabouts of an individual. Now, people do dox Tofia by finding out what hotel room she's in, but most of the time it's literally Tofia herself doing her own doxing, whether she shows her address on DoorDash or she just shows the building resident that she's in at point blank. It, it's really no secret that she doesn't have any sort of self-security. She literally just puts it all out there for the entire world to see. Shelter era. Um, to sum this up, I'm pretty sure there was like a point in time where people were saying that Tofio was living in a homeless shelter. I personally can't find any proof or long-term evidence for this other than like a one-off comment that Tofia made on a live stream saying that if they don't pay the rent soon, they might have to live in a homeless shelter. But as of right now, nothing's really happened with that. So just take this with a grain of salt. Wesley Boba. Wesley Bobo was a pretty popular creator. Uh, the main thing that brings him into this mix is that he is from an Asian descent, meaning that he is a perfect target for Tofia's fetishization. She followed him on everything, duetted his videos all the time, and was pretty much obsessed with him. Uh, she would constantly duet him with romantic videos because he would do like these POV things. And I guess that's fine, but when you do it constantly, combined with Tofia's history of how she treats Asian men, it is very strange. But anyways, this obsession got so bad to the point where he deleted all of his accounts. Now, nobody knows if it's from Tofia specifically, but that's a pretty, like, agreed upon and very popular theory. Um, but as of right now, we have no definite proof that Tofia was the reason he deleted his accounts. We're just like 90% sure that's why animal abuse. I am 99% sure that this is referencing how Tofia mistreats her dog Hershey. There are multiple instances of this where he clearly isn't taken care of correctly. And long story short, he isn't given the correct living conditions a dog should have. And as mentioned earlier, Hershey, instead of going in outside, is given an old McDonald's cup to urinate in. And speaking of said McDonald's cup, at some point in time, Tofia accidentally drank from the cup that Hershey peed in, so uh, live with that knowledge. But there are also other instances of Hershey's abuse that he's forced to endure, such as a clip where she hits Hershey with a hairbrush and then vomits on livestream. Rose toy, um, the rose toy. There is a commonly believed rumor that Tofia stole a rose toy, which is pretty much a female um, masturbation device from her brother's ex she has admitted to owning a rose toy on live before and this is a commonly used joke within the tofia community as they always make memes and comments about the rose toy and there's even merch about it on redbubble which isn't licensed by tofia obviously um and sometimes people like go on to other people's live streams with this really bad screenshot of tofia and an ai voice and they go I am using my rose toy with the AI voice and it's honestly hilarious. Lawsuit threats. Tofia commonly threatens to sue anybody who in her eyes is doing something distasteful towards her. Though we all know that she does not have the financial or even legal authority to even claim a lawsuit against these people. And 90% of the time, they aren't even doing anything lawsuit worthy. Essay stories. I believe that this is referring to an instance where Tofia stated that she got groped on a public bus. Though she claimed that this was true, Mama Chu later said on a live stream that Tofia had never been touched like that and she was just making it up. However, this could also be referring to the fact that Tofia likes to tell essay survivors that they're just making it up which is super messed up. I don't know why you would say that, but this is Tofia we're talking about. Don't, Tofia, don't do that. Don't, I need you, listen, don't, Tofia. To tier four. All right, we are now into tier four. Thank you so much, Jade, for doing the voiceover for tier three. And Jade also did the research for me for tier one, I believe and maybe a little bit of tier two. So thank you so much, Jade, you've been a huge help. You're the person who introduced me to Tofia and you've led me down this stupid rabbit hole of the slide elves. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into tier four. Domestic violence. Tofia is known for abusing her family and siblings, including her mother, which will be touched on later, the family dog, which we already covered, and her father one time knowingly, which was proved from a live stream. But this is probably referring to how Brother Chu used to abuse his ex, and Tofia justified it multiple times 
like multiple times throughout multiple live streams. There's so much proof. And Brother Chu, like, it wasn't like one instance where he hit his ex. He like physically abused her multiple times. And Tofia found a way to excuse it every single time when she was asked about it. Cheating slash adultery. This is referring to Papa Chu cheating on Mama Chu. He constantly flirted with women when he would go online, but one girl in particular who's actually a minor is the main known cause. He cheated on Mama Chu with her, but little information is really known about this situation because the minor is protected from inter information leaks legally. But it is believed that he had intercourse with this minor, which is a felony. Yeah. Elder abuse. As stated earlier, Tofia mentally and in more than three cases, proven through live video, physically abused her parents. As her mother is on the older side of things, this can be considered elder abuse. And this isn't putting it lightly. Tofia is fucking rude to her mom and most of the time blames her for everything wrong with her life. Disgusting. Feeders. Feeding is a fetish where a person gets sexually excited about the idea of overly feeding someone. As in one case, a woman was trying to get to her goal of being 1,000 pounds, and her boyfriend, who has this fetish, would feed her through a funnel. Tofia has stated that she gets an abnormal amount of a view inflicts whenever she's eating. It is widely believed that people in the feeder fetish world run to Tofia's life whenever she's eating or even offer to buy her abnormally large meals to watch her eat. Asian teen porn. Tofia, again, was showing off her phone in a different situation and showed her frequently visited tabs. There was two X video tabs including Asian teen porn and ass finger. Ew. This was also a huge part of the Aunt Karen livestream where Tofia was confronted about this. Later, Tofia stated while defending herself that teens are not kids and it shouldn't be a problem that she was searching slash looking at that stuff because those type of websites wouldn't actually allow underage individuals. Anyways, people often gift the quote-unquote it's corn icon in her live streams as a nod to this disgusting situation. For reference, in the Aunt Karen live stream, Aunt Karen said the word corn instead of you know what in order to bypass the security guidelines so they could talk about the situation. And obviously, everyone ran wild with that and now her comment section is flooded with corn emojis and her live streams are flooded with the it's corn icon. Vomiting on live. Tofia has vomited on live stream a number of times, but the most infamous one was when she hit Hershey with the comb and then threw up all over the floor. Then after, she just went around her day like nothing happened. $50 bail. Papa Chu has been to jail multiple times. The most recent time though was when his bail was $50. Tofia easily spends this much on DoorDash in one week. So you would think that they would bail him out, right? You're wrong. There was also another time when this bail was $25 and they refused to pay for the longest time because they thought he would miss his court hearing purposefully. It's $50 to get your father out of jail and you still haven't paid it. Anyways, this is an ongoing joke because she's, one time she spent $50 on a DoorDash order for pizza and people said you could have, you know, released your dad and she just ignored it and just ate up that pizza. Incredibly selfish and incredibly disgusting. But again, it's the Slidells. What do you expect? Pee pads. When Tofia, Mama Chu, or Brother Chu are too lazy to make Hershey use the pee cup, they'll just place pee pads around their current living situation and use that as the dog's bathroom. As Hershey is quote unquote disabled, he can't go outside like other dogs, according to Tofia, which would be fine, but they keep these pee pads as a permanent installment on their ground. Imagine the stench. Advil attempted suicide. Long story short, Tofia tried to off herself using Advil. Kid watching app. Tofia tried to sign up for a babysitting service that is online. Yes, you heard me right. Tofia was so lazy that she got to the point where she signed up for a babysitting service where you watch the kids via video call. Number one, why does an app like that exist? Like what if the kid is in danger? Are you just gonna virtually give them the Heimlich remover? Anyways, Tofia signed up for this service as they apparently pay well, but she never ended up go any, uh, going anywhere with it. I didn't do anything to her! I'm not gonna her. say anything. Okay. I'm taking action. When is that gonna be long? I'm sick and tired of it. I don't have ah! You can't go in there! Go wash your musty ass and stop talking about me. I do not want to hear that. Mom!
Because this apartment has roaches that the fucking office is doing nothing about! All right, guys, we are finally on to the final tier. Uh, trigger warning, we are going to get into some harsh subjects. Um, also, this tier is a little bit shorter than the others, and I don't cover every single entry. Um, and the information might be incorrect just because that um, the research for this tier was extremely hard to find. Um, being as this is the final tier, it's the most cryptic and secretive parts of Tofia's life. So it's extremely hard to research this part. So I'm super sorry if this isn't the level of quality you guys expected, but I can make an update video if I end up finding more stuff. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Arson in apartment. This is referring to when Papa Chu would light fires on a regular basis inside of the apartment. Schizophrenia. Papa Chu is believed to have severe schizophrenia. He is severely mentally unstable and is a crazy case on its own. Green crosses. Papa Chu is also known for placing green crosses made out of painter's tape around the apartment. Hostage situation. To avoid this video getting banned, I'm going to sum it up. Papa Chu uh, held Tofia and the rest of the family hostage for several hours before being arrested. Twitter nudes. I believe this refers to when Papa Chu posted his mm pics to Twitter. And some people even sent these photos to Tofia herself which is kind of gross because that's her own father. Donald Jr. CP. Donald is Papa Chu's real name and Brother Chu was named after him. So this, refer so this refers to when Brother Chu had cheese pizza on his phone. If you know what that means, you know what that means. Real dad conspiracy. It is believed that Tofia came from another father that isn't Papa Chu. When you were in the hospital and I came at two in the morning, open heart surgery, open heart surgery. The first thing you said was, hi, daddy. 